G'day and welcome back to our Venetian market campaign in EU4. So we've uh, got to try and get the French out here. We've got a few sieges going on. Looks like Aragon's helping out as well. Of course, Burgundy is still trying to retake this. They've just barely got enough men there. Conscripted garrisons are making it a weird number of uh, people that we need on there. It's all right. We've got the other guys doing their own thing. And we'll just keep going around Sweden, trying to hold them together. A bit of a chance here to spread out and maybe capture some of these other guys. Great Horde and France are up there doing their thing. Burgundy won a piece out. So that was the Danish army was sitting on Calais. Now they've headed over to Gilray. They can, yeah, do that in their own time. So make sure they don't move. Keep Brandenburg there. All right, and what do we want from Burgundy? Calais, probably give it to Denmark, maybe. Sweden was going to keep the stuff in the east. Denmark's already, uh, yeah, rather blobby after having integrated Norway. Tuscany's got their own issues. All right, Würzburg, Tuscany, Luxembourg. Luxembourg we can't give it to because they're landlocked. It'd be nice to have given them pieces of France beforehand, but that's fine. Um, Luxembourg, let's just make sure they can't actually do it. Suf Peace, no. Cannot make it a core. It's unfortunate. Würzburg is even further landlocked. Way over in the center of Europe there. Never actually uh, ended up giving them some stuff, did we? Alright, well. Calais, I guess. Would, well, it has to go to one of our guys. Not giving it to Brandenburg. Denmark would be fine. He's bigger than Sweden anyway. So there's no chance of uh, inheriting him naturally. Alright, so for peace. Give that to Denmark. A little aggressive expansion, but nothing in Europe that ticks it over the 50, except for Pomerania. Want to take the money, of course. Give it the claim on Rathel. No, don't care if they fire in Rathel. Give France some extra manpower loss. Alright, that's all we can do. So, they're out. They can become Defender of the Faith, but no. Sweden's at 7% in their siege. Kajana Land is back, and we're going to be attacked by the French. Let's quickly put Marco, Marco Magno in. Get the other guys to uh, reinforce, just to make sure it's a victory. And then, once the, sea, the uh, battle's over, wow, they didn't want to actually do it. Chickens turned around. It's fine. Didn't like the look of our general, I guess. And back down this way. Ferrara is looking fine, but Venezia, not so much. And you know, it's got a big stack of French troops in it. Alright, get back Ubu. And you see those Catholics over in Hells, England. Still being annoying. Alright, Krillin is ours. Or Danish land. Let's get over, sort out. Everything occupied by Hamburg over here. Should only take a couple of months. Alright, and yeah, Denmark's doing fantastic with uh, turning Protestant. Alright, get up to Birkeland. Swedish peasants on minus 64. Looks like the Catholics have stopped moving for a bit. Alright, and rejoin these guys soon. Blame the Emperor. Lose stability. Oh, thanks for Tori. Committed an absolute faux pas. Well, that's what happens when you're on three stability. And England have declared on Pekahe. That's fine. Left them one province. They'll uh, probably manage to win that. Alright, group these guys up. Should really go take care of the armies first, maybe. Or the capital. Don't want his war exhaustion getting too bad. Alright, so for peace. France wants out, we decline. We are close to taking Leonais. And Aragon's got back up there. Würzburg's looking okay in Berry. Give it a couple of months and he can take that. We've lost the Siege of Venezia. We'll deal with that in a second. Alright, keep Sweden there, hopefully. And yeah, Venezia's gone. So Ferrara's our only fort left. Our war exhaustion is going to be horrendous. 0.4 per month. I'm using Kalmar. Okay. 30 versus 11. And he's copping the minus one. So, it's one way to do it. 
And hey, Luxembourg's actually up there sorting out Stockholm for us. In that case, we're going to go sit on Necker. So we've got a uh, mercenary heavy army there. The Catholic Zealots roam back and forth. Going to Vesterbotten. Alright, war exhaustion's high. We're on minus 52. Okay. Fantastic. It'll be from uh, taking Calais. Alright, England laying claims. Get where he wants out. That was uh, Brandenburg we sent down there. No, Tuscany's sitting there. Interesting. We haven't taken it yet. Some Swedes on his other one there too. And now we're 10 years ahead of tech. Or ahead of time on tech. And these are going to finish November of 64 still. So just a couple of months off. Plenty of Puerto de Sado has grown enough to be self-sustaining. So it's the last of the South American... Well, far South American land. I'm not sure if Para is actually um, takeable by sea or if you have to have land around it we'll uh, start there and head our way north along the coast special embassies colonial expansion yeah all right catholic zealots in denmark now great because you know the swedish ones weren't enough for us let's deal with a 40 stack across the straits over in shelland and luxembourg's doing very well there all right rebel uprising venetian peasants uh, not a great deal we can do about that. Milan is the big one. Oh, he's getting close to taking Ferrara. Well, that's not the best news. But well, we have one siege of Nerica. So, we need to chase down that army again. With a leader, preferably. Um, Vittori's 60. Vittori's 41. Two four fives, not terrible. Chance of inheriting 0%. Yep. Of course it is. Since 44 and 48. It's going to be a while till we can actually check what our chances will be of inheriting them. Alright. We'll make the error, dude. Alright, Vittori is a 1-4. That's uh, pretty damn good. And yeah, Luxembourg. Hopefully we'll keep going. So we've still got two votes, but only barely. It's two to two to two, so we need to keep Unholt on our side. All right, truth is Bavaria is over. You get across these straits, go cut off the Catholic rebels. And Theodora, what's your story? We're at 99. Okay, so decline their offer. Theodoro. Right up in the corner up there. Brandenburg went and did it. All right, thanks, Brandon. They have military access, military access, they have no allies. So the treaty is forced religion, some warps. Don't really care about his claims. Do a tiny bit of trade power over there. Won't really make any difference. He's going to be pushing towards the node that we want though, I think. Alright, not many countries left. They're all on low except for the Great Horde. And there we go, new colonial nation. Colombia and Peru same time just keeping both the uh, default name all right and that treasury looks fantastic but i think it's not at all accurate all right gilray want out we'll wait for the swedish to take cleef clev all right sweden you stay there you're not allowed to move venetian peasants have taken control of milan and trading in wine has happened okay so, Hamburg's got a few men in there. That's a 54 stack. Hopefully, they'll smash against each other. There's a big French stack in Albanga. Well, if those Genoans would like to leave the Siege of Ferrara, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Danish noble rebels in Lund. Yeah. I think they've got their own war exhaustion issues. It's not too much of a surprise down here. And Gilray is going to go take care of it for us. Well, uh, Vessel will like our sworn enemies to be clearing his rebels out for him. 7% chance in Ferrara, and he's broken it off. It's nice. And what Hamburg's thinking going into the hills of Brescia there. Alright, hopefully... Well, Galway looks like they're heading towards it. Genoa's turned a different direction. Alright, France want a piece out. We've got Paris. We've got, well, a few different things down there. Wouldn't mind giving chunks of this to Luxembourg. 
It's 129 development. So we're going to come down to the aggressive expansion anyway. Alright, kill some more ships. France have six heavies left. So there was a battle somewhere to uh, kill some of his. He had 12 or 14 before. And there's a the Galarian attack on the rebels. Don't care either way. Whichever one of them wins. Uh, some reinforcement going on down there. So, dead rebels. Always good. Allies lost. Yeah, sure. Well, he keeps going back to Ferrara. Oh, Aragon. Okay. That could start causing issues. If Aragon's out, then it's mostly about Brandenburg. All right, down to 179,000. Würzburg would like to get out, then we'll out. All right, that war exhaustion, 0.41 per month. Yeah, Venetian, Colombia, yep, all that region's looking nice. We're okay down there, it's mostly England. I think we have to do a war against England next before we can finish off the rest of the um, other guys there. Now these colonial nations should be working on their own colonizing down there. All right, Great Horde, we can white peace. Might as well just do it. What else do we have? Oh, wait another month for the diplomat. Meanwhile, back in Sweden, these guys should just go on suppression. They can do their own thing over there to sort that out. Hamburg wants out, we're at 55 total war score. Definitely want to get rid of the French first though. There's a big Danish army there. Take care of the tip. Alright, Genoa. There was a big French stack there, so we didn't want to actually walk into Genoa. Alright, what can we do with France? So take this little province that is in the eastern seaboard, not in Louisiana, so in Mobile. If we can take everything else, yeah, it's a long way off. And we'd have to have five of them. So maybe leave that for another war. Take the rest of this area instead. Looks like the trade zone's in Manhattan, not in Quinnipiac. And it'd be nice to take these. It's a long way off because it's just too far over the war score that we have. So we could take one. Then obviously we can't take any land from France itself. Depends on how badly we want to uh, feed Luxembourg some French land. They're all kind of expensive. It's 83, 76. 78, 90, yeah. 79, core. Hmm. Probably better off just focusing on the new world. Do what we can. Bolochi is the new zone, so yeah. I don't think we really want to take any of Louisiana. And it's got stuff in Africa, but we can't take that. Bay Notre Dame, yeah, it's all just borderline. We'll just take this and get out. At least uh, Venetian Brazil was sorted out. Hand all that over. Defender of the Faith, French line rests in Pastos Bons. Pastos Bons is the little one there. And it's actually a colony still. It's a little weird, the unrest is so high in a colony. War exhaustion issues. What happens if a uh, colony tries to rebel? Alright, colonial maintenance is doable. So you got 912 ducats sitting around. And Gilray. We're waiting for somebody to finish the siege there. Looks like he's okay to get out now. They don't all their treaties. Remove rivals. And we get prestige that's capped out. Is there anyone we can buy down? Uh, Luxembourg. Well, Venetian Brazil is the highest, but Luxembourg is probably the most useful to placate. Do it a couple of times because we're going to get. Quite a bit of prestige out of the rest of this. So 24 for that. Get rid of Gilray. Next up is going to be Genoa. 
Pakahe give England just ducats. The one province remains. Alright, now Genoa. Let's just get rid of them. I'm not going to uh, get around that French army that was sitting in their territory. Alright, done in Oldenburg. What are we trying to do with them? Free sea status. Minus three. Oh, come on. Need more diplomatic reputation. And their opinion can't really get any higher. Get an extra one from it. Hmm. Austria have manufactories. Alright. Well, Hamburg will convert to Protestant. We get most of the ducats. It's 78% because all the other guys, yeah, brings it to us, even though we didn't really actually participate in this war. Call for Peace has reset itself. Interesting. Alright, no treaties. Or what do we want to do with them? Do with a little extra prestige. Get room for 22 more. And that'll give us 22, but wouldn't all go to us be shared out a bit. Alright, well, it's basically all we want to do there, so let's just send that. And that should be unification of the Empire. Yeah, it's a few years worth of war exhaustion. Alright, so we've got. Uh, Rivalry issues. Don't want to rival Aragon. Don't particularly want to rival the Ottomans or Russia. Although, Russia we're going to feed to Denmark and Sweden. Let's uh, see if we're going to do it or not. And yeah, we're at war with France. We have been at war with France. We might as well keep them as rivals. Alright, there's a few Germans want Condottieri. I wonder what their war is. So Memmingen was involved. France have rivaled us back. Alright, it's uh, kind of the south versus the north, I guess. Conquest of Cologne. Who is one province minor. Because the other stuff got fed out. Okay, well. Don't know that we could actually do anything about that anyway. Cologne's friendly, but he hates us. Interesting. No. Ansbach hates us truly. He is outraged. Alright, and uh, looking okay. One heretic prince in the empire. No longer. So monthly update. Fix that. Hopefully there won't be any more heretics. We've got our Protestant Empire running smoothly. And the Empress Consort has died. Which means if our heir dies, we could be in some weird problems. And since he's leading an army, rather likely to happen. Don't like how close together the rages are. And almost sorted out the guys. Oh, there's Regan Separatists. Forgot to uh, find their army before we pieced them out. Well, Livonia. Norwegian Separatists in Agashus. Of course, a big 44 stack, just as we thought we'd sorted out Danish problems. Although, we're at peace now, so the Danish should find their way back. Although well, they do appear to be stuck in Calais. Sailors rally to aid the army. Our army has endured severe casualties over the past years. Lose sailors, gain manpower. That's a fantastic event. Alright, colony is done. So, we were spreading out in the north. I think we just head further along the coast. Although, switching this guy from Francien to, I don't know, whatever Venice is, could probably be a good idea. I don't think we can actually get him there in time though, so yeah, just keep going up the coast. Maduro. Making a lot of money. Odenberg's joined Genoa's trade league, damnation. And Pastor Spons, we finish soon. Fiero del Fuego, we can pull back. With all the money we have, we should be. Uh, Doubling up on our colonies. So this guy from Para, yeah, we'll send him up as well. Keep them going, keep them popping out until we've got the coastline, and then sort out the British, take their coastline. And England is reformed, allied with the Iroquois and Pomerania and a couple of Germans. Got a blockade ports CB, trade protection. 
that block anything. It doesn't look like it stops you from doing whatever you want. Whereas this one blocks all the fun stuff. So yeah, trade protection would be the way to go. Do we want to declare war on England at the moment? That's the question. The Cavendish of England have a few claims, but nothing that directly affects us other than these claim on Calais. This allied with the Iroquois, which do have land that we want to take. Which reminds me, we were going to uh, declare war on Scotland, make it a colonial war. So then we can bring other people into a separate war later on. Um, hey, we've got three votes at the moment. Bremen, love us. And just coming on with Oldenburg. Oh, minus two for a free city status. Alright, won the Siege of Shetland. Fun. Diplo rep. I don't think there's much we can do. Where is Diplo rep? Brunel de Loredan. So, what have we done? Oldenburg. Alright, that will now accept being a free city. Just barely. Diplo rep went up just far enough. So, definitely do that right now. He has accepted. Anton von Vincenberg. Okay. So, decent uh, gain there. Uh, East Frisia, Oldenburg. Uh, Denmark has some of the land. It doesn't matter because they're under us, so it doesn't count it. And Hamburg wants to become a free city again. Nice. Unlawful territory. Cologne can be forced to return it. What did they take? Aachen. Aachen, Aachen. Uh, Baden. Always get Aachen and Unsbach and stuff. Cologne took it. Okay. Aachen considers it a core province. Cologne has a claim. Brabant has a claim. Yeah, we'll just leave it be. There I go. I just back. This could be an interesting uh, fight. We've got three quarters of the number of troops, and there's going to be lots of mountains around there. Alright, got the other fleet here too. Get rid of them, because they're not really being used. Might need them to uh, transport the guys home. Depends what we want to do with that army. Because we've got the English war going on. Alright, can we come back just to our vassals territory for now? Maybe sell the boats to Aragon? Sell ships? Yeah, they're not within range yet, so I have to send them back to Tuscany and then have a look. Alright, well, I'm going to end this one here, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.